Good morning, everybody. Welcome to episode number nine of Orange 22 Fishing. It is pretty freaking early in the morning, man. Today, we're going to be trying something pretty fun, man. We're going to be fishing with Burger King chicken nuggets and seeing how they compare to the McDonald's nuggets that we used a couple videos ago. But before we go do that, we're going to do a little bass fishing at a couple of local ponds to kill some time while we're waiting for Burger King to open at 1030. It's still pretty early in the morning, so I'm pretty tired. Nonetheless, we're going to get in the car and head to these local ponds and start this thing off today, man. Stay with us. Let's go. Let's do this thing. I notice it's very shallow. I don't know why it is that way. We have had a drought, so it might be from that. Also, I think it's just a shallow pond. I'm starting off the little blue black Senko on like a three yacht hook. I'm gonna see if we can get a bass here to start off the day. Because of how shallow it is, I'm gonna chuck around this Whopper Plopper 75 series for a little bit. The temperature right now is about 55 degrees here in the morning. And obviously that's not ideal top water conditions, but I just love throwing these whopper ploppers, man. We had a great summer using these things, and this is something you're going to see us use a ton next summer, so stay tuned for that, man. This is a nice looking pond, man, but it was a bust for us this morning, so we're going to take a quick little walk over here go around this corner that you see up here and we're gonna head to our second pond of the day I know there's fish in that pond I don't know if there's fish in this pond but I'll definitely have to come back and try it out next year so we'll make our way over to that second pond I was telling you about there is supposed to be giants in there I've only been there a couple times but we've caught fish every time we've been there nothing too big a couple two three pounders but I've heard there's five plus pound fish in there so we're gonna try to get those today. All right, everybody, so we have made it to the second pond. That was a little bit longer of a walk than I thought, man. I'm a little tired this morning, so it was pretty rough, but we're at the second pond now, and there's definitely bass in here. We've caught them before, so we're gonna get our lines in the water. I'm throwing the Senko right here. Maddie's throwing a lipless crankbait rattle trap, I believe. I got one. <laughs> and as I'm filming that little segment right here, Maddie goes down to the other end of the pond and just like usual starts fishing before we get all the camera stuff set up. He's got himself a nice little bass here. So guys, I was looking right here and it's very shallow but there's this one little like deep hole. It's probably like three feet. And I saw a whole school of these little tiny bass sitting here. So I dropped my Senko down there and I was like, Luke, watch this. And he bit it and I pulled him up and here he is. It's like cute little bass. He's got really good colors though. Looks very healthy. So there's another one. Look at that one right there. Well, they're stacked up right in this little hole here. So I'm going to let this one go. Get some more. Put them right back there. That was like nice a job, man. That was like a pound and a half. That was right there. This is like a little subsection of the pond. It gets like real narrow back there near the main pond. And it opens up into this little mini pond here. So Maddie's going to come down here and try to catch something out of this little part. I really don't know if there's anything in here or not. I'm only going to try here for like three minutes because there's not. I'm going back to the main pond. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's a nice bass. Here he comes. Got him. Got him. Oh, oh, no. Bro, that was like a pound at least. That was a nice bass. Guys, so I, was, I saw this little bass and I threw it at him. And then a big bass came out and hit it, and I had him for a second. Hold on, there's something biting it. There's a bass. Oh no! Oh shoot. What? 
All right, man, so Matty just had that nice bass down there and he broke off on a little one too because it got wrapped around in the reeds. So I'm gonna go back down here, grab my pole, and I'm gonna throw down there because there's a couple nice fish in there, man. So here's a little channel that these fish have to go in between the ponds. Holy crap, there's a frog that just scared the crap out of me, man. Look at the colors on that frog, man. Everything natural in this wildlife area we're at has just amazing colors. Like the bass, they look like spotted bass from down in the south, you know? And uh, these frogs, man, that looks just like a Lunker Hunt prototype or something, man. Oh, oh holy smokes. Big blow up down here, guys. Big blow up. Might have to give these fish in this tiny pond here a break because we've been throwing at them for a while. So the water's super clear so they can see us and everything. So we just want to let them rest for a little bit. Then we'll probably hit this on the way back from the big pond there. Oh. Was that you? No. What the heck was that, man? A big bass. I saw it swim around after something. I'm going to put on these muck boots here and walk right out there to that little island type thing so I can get a little bit more distance on my casts and see if I can get the big one that was just chasing bait over there. There's a deep hole right here, guys, and Maddie just said a snapping turtle that was pretty darn big went in this pipe that's down in the hole. So I'm gonna walk up around the edge here so I don't disturb that thing. Oh, it's getting a little deep, man. All right, right up here on the island, we made it. Fish on, fish on, good fish here. Finally got one, man. Oh yeah, good fish. Let's go! Woo that is a big bass. It's not too long, but it's very, very fat. Bro, this is so freaking cool. I just went out to that island there, as you guys saw, and it gave me more room to cast up there along that shore where we saw that big bass feeding on bait. I don't think this is the same one because it's not that big. But man, this is a beautiful freaking fish. Look at that thing, man. What a chunk solid two plus pounder easily the mouth isn't even that big on that fish but look at the colors and look at the weight on this guy man what a freaking catch we'll put him down here away from the snapping turtle let's see where he goes because the water is clear if you can see him there she goes where look oh. at that fish oh, where? right here right is here. he gonna go in the pipe look at that bass man it. It's right here. There she comes. Right here. There she goes. Smart bass. Let's go, man. Luke's on the board. I actually just put on my muck boots, so I'm going to walk out there with the camera and let you guys see what it's like from our angle out here. Let's go. Oh man, my, oh no. Oh, my foot is full of water. Oh, wow. How, guy, how did you guys get through this? Where'd you guys come through? Over here? No, no, no. no, up, no, more, no. Come up more. Come up here and then walk up this gravel thing right here so it gets higher. Like right here? No, over here. Oh, I'm coming at this over yeah, here. Say, so as I'm walking up, Luke just landed this too. So as I'm walking up, Luke just got a fish. Say His it, first one. Again, because I was talking. Ow, as I'm walking up here, guys, Luke just got his first fish of the day. A, pretty much a dink, but awesome for him to get one. 
dried up here. Yeah. And now it's back up to it. Got another one. Nice. Luke's on the board with his second of the day. All right, guys, just got my second bass of the day. It's another small one, but uh, hopefully we can upgrade on the size and get some bigger ones. We'll let them go. All right, so we're working our way around the edge of this pond here. This is something I've honestly never done in a pond before, like wading around the edge and everything. It's so cool, man. You just feel like so much more a part of everything here. Gotta watch out for these deep holes here as we're coming around the edge. That's one feature about this pond that makes it unique is there's a lot of like really deep holes like you'll have a foot of water and then it just drops off into a round pit of like four feet deep so we definitely got to be careful for that man if you guys want to see us do something like this again definitely like this video and comment down below okay guys so the camera stopped recording for some reason but while that happened i caught my third bass of the day it's still another dink but look at the colors on that man Oh, that's a better fish. Luke just hooked up with another beauty, man. It's a little better one. A little better quality there. Beautiful fish again. Ow. It's what, your fourth of the day? All right. Another future 10 pounder right there. Hopefully. Get the release. We'll let him go. There he goes. This is definitely a pond here that we're going to have to come back to. If not this year, next year we'll come here during the spawn when all the bass are pushed up right on the edges and walk around the edges and cast down these edges and pull out some fish from off their beds, man. I have a feeling there's some big fish in here and we're going to get them next year. Whew, back on dry land, man. That was definitely a lot of fun, but it feels good to walk on something sturdy again. Oh, cool, man. Let's, uh, let's go. <laughs> Guys, I would like to fish out of my boot when I get home. So look. <laughs> Here, look at mine. Oh, yeah. Aha! I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's Burger King. We're waiting for this light to turn green, and we're going there to get the nuggets. Cool, I had the order. Thanks for the Burger King. How can I help you? Hi, how much is it for a 10-piece nugget? One forty-nine. I'll take two of those, please. Is that all for you? Yeah, that's all. Two thirty. Just second jack. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so we just purchased these beautiful chicken nuggets from Burger King. They are a lot cheaper than McDonald's actually. McDonald's is like $3.30 something I think for a 10 piece nugget. And these Burger King nuggets are $1.49 for a 10 piece. So I don't know if they just lack the secret ingredient that McDonald's has or something like that, but we're gonna find out. Maybe they're just total crap for fishing. That's why they're so cheap. I'm gonna keep driving, pay attention so I don't crash, and we'll see you guys there. Here we are at the spot. We got our nuggets, we got our stuff. The high tide was at eight o'clock, so it's starting to go down just a little bit. I'm not too worried about that. It's a little overcast and windy, so I don't know how that's gonna play into it, but I'll show you the nuggets here. They look kind of similar. But 
I will give you guys a quick look at the nuggets here. They look pretty similar to the ones that we got from McDonald's a couple weeks ago. Uh, they got like some black specks in them. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I don't know what the heck that is. Maybe that's like Burger King's secret ingredient. I really don't know. So we're going to stop talking. We're going to get to fishing. And we'll see you guys hopefully in like two minutes with a fish on. One more thing, guys. These nuggets smell like crap. I really don't know why, but they stink. <laughs> <laughs> I am very confused, guys. We haven't had a bite yet. The first time we came here, you guys saw that on video. If you watched that video, we were slamming them. And today, we're back recording. We haven't had a single bite, and we've been here for 12 minutes. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but for this spot, that's not good. Hey, what's up, Jesse? Nah, we just got here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Were you were looking for a package deal? Huh? Package deal. Tackle, tackle, fish, fish poles, everything. Go away right down here. Yeah. They catch a rock. Oh, really? White jig. Oh, yeah? Shop. We'll have to try it. Huh? We'll have to try it. Shop. Listen, you need a flat, flat tail. Yeah. We got some, so we'll try it. Go for the gusto. Alright. Go for the running go. Go. Go in front of the yellow building? Uh huh. Go. And cast across. How much you want back? Hey, you are. 27 pounds. Rock. Uh, hey, go uh, down. Uh, the line back there, too. Oh, so that's where big bass are. Yeah? Yeah. Big bass. I'm talking to them. I got one back there like this going. A large mouth? Yeah. Wow. Records. All right, Dave. All right. Guys, so I don't know if you heard that or not, but that guy was telling us that there's like giant largemouth bass. He was like, they're like this big down there and down there. So I don't know. If we're not getting anything, we might go try down there. I don't know if I should believe him or not. Kind of sketchy, but um, he was like, at the end, he was like, okay, Dave. And I was like, what? Because I have never met that guy in my life before. I don't know how he know Dave's name or anything like that. We're gonna go try the other side of this river and see if we can get one over there since we haven't got one here yet. So we're leaving the dock now. This spot's been absolutely garbage today. I don't know if it's the difference in the nuggets. I really don't think it is. I just think this spot isn't producing at this time of year, man. We might change up and go for some stripers here in a bit. Kind of a creepy spot to be honest, man. Look at this place. Got like some busted up windows and everything. I really don't care though if we catch some nice fish out of here, man. Oh, let's go, man. Let's go. Oh my god. Maddie's oh. got a freaking striker. This Let's is a go, big baby. Striker. Let's your drag, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's Holy freaking cow. go. Bro. Don't lose it. Come on, man. Get it in. Come on. Oh my god. Come on. Let's let your drag. Let your, man. It's loose. It's pretty loose. Right. Let your drag. Oh, Lord. Let's go, baby. Jeez. You're, you're lucky you have braid. I do not. I have 14 pound line on this rod. Let's freaking go. Oh my you gotta get god. This fish in I here, saw man. that thing. That's a big shark. No! Oh, no! Oh. Oh. I knew oh. that. No. That thing was big. Oh my gosh. Man. Okay, guys, just to explain that a little bit. So, I wasn't having any luck on the chicken nuggets. So, I threw out this big rattle trap that's been killing it for me in the last couple weeks. And I didn't, be, to be honest, I didn't think I was going to catch anything, but I had like a 10 pound striper. You guys saw the jump on camera. That thing was a tank. I've never caught a striper before, so that would have been so cool. I was doing my best to get it in, but it shook the hook out and got away. So we're going to try to catch another one. We're kind of moving on from the chicken nuggets and trying to catch a striper now. So you guys stay tuned.
Oh my gosh, I got one. For real? Oh, I got him. I got him. Do you? Big fish. Really? Big fish. All right, redemption time, man. Let's go. Oh, let's go. What the hell? Oh, you snagged it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, I thought I had a big striper or something. I just snagged this big old shad. I'll try to hold him for you. But he's squirming around here. Hold on. Okay, so look how big this shad is. I feel like that's what the stripers are eating in here. This is a monster shad. I'll let this guy go, but man, I was really hoping that was a striper, but well, at least I got something, so we'll keep fishing. Nice shad. So I didn't notice this earlier about this bait, but it was in good condition, and after I had that striper on, I really hope you can see the bottom. Right about here, it's like all ripped up from his teeth. That's crazy. Look at that, right there. It's completely like shredded. So that was a giant striper. I really want to get revenge at that thing because that was like a 10. I'm going to say, we're going to say about 10 to 12 pounds. So that was an absolute giant, man. Oh. All right, man. So we're going through this kind of alley type place to get to the next spot. I don't even know like where we're going here. But we're just kind of walking around downtown and we're going to try to find another part of the river that we can get to, hopefully up here. Looks like there is a guy fishing over here on the other side, so we'll probably come up on the right side of him, work our way down there, and hopefully get revenge on that big striper Matty lost. So we knew we were taking a risk when we stayed here instead of going to a different pond because I don't think, I think this place is a little overfished, but I got really lucky and had that opportunity. I can't believe I lost it. That really sucks, but we're going to go to one more pond. None of us has been to this pond before, so we're going to go check it out, see if it's worth going to again. Hopefully we'll catch some fish. We'll see you guys in a couple. All right, man. So we have arrived at the last pond of the day. I'm standing on this gigantic tube. This thing is like the biggest drain tube I've ever seen in my life. But this pond is pretty freaking big here, man. I would almost put my kayak out here if I could and had more time to get over to that dock there, which I think is private. But we're gonna try to walk around to the other side. There's a spot off the shore there that I think we can get to. So we legitimately just walked all the way down that road to the other side of that pond and it's like all fenced off and it says, you know, under video surveillance and all that stuff over there. man so that is going to be the end of our video here today we had a decent day of fishing man we started out at those first ponds and we walked around the edges we had a lot of fun caught some decent bass as you guys saw then we moved on to that nugget fishing challenge with burger king's nuggets it did not go according to plan at all with those nuggets man we had been to that spot multiple times and had a ton of success on the mcdonald's nuggets and when we went back with the burger king nuggets Although they were a lot cheaper, they did not produce at all. We didn't even have like a single bite from a catfish, I don't think. I think it was just like crabs playing around with it on the bottom of the river. So we did go down to the other end of the river, down by the spillway area, to fish for some stripers after the nugget challenge part of the video. And down there, Maddie hooked into an absolute beast of a striper, man. He was not able to land it, which really sucks, because that would have made the video ten times cooler, but... You know, it keeps you hungry and wanting to go back for more, so we'll definitely go back to that spot at some point. Then, in a last-ditch effort to try to land some more fish for this video, we went to like four or five different ponds after the striker spot, including the first one of the day that we had already been to and caught fish at. But like three of the spots didn't pan out, some of them were too shallow to fish, 
others had posted signs and everything and the one pond we knew we could catch stuff in that we did at the beginning of the video we couldn't get a single bite there later in the day so the last part of the video kind of sucked but sometimes you just have days like that man it's just how it goes with fishing all you guys know that i'm sure so yeah man this video is just all over the place like it started out as the nugget thing and it, it morphed into so many other things, but it was just a fun day out trying to catch fish. We didn't have the most success, but still just a great day of fishing just to be able to get out there and try some new things, try some different baits, try to go for some different species with that striper, man. If you guys did like this style of video where we're kind of just running around at different spots, you know, not having just one set idea for the day and trying different things, go down and leave a like. Also, leave a comment for what you want to see from us next. And yeah, guys, thank you for all your support, watching these videos, liking our videos, following us on Instagram. We appreciate it all, man. And we will catch you back here for episode number 10 coming out next week.